the next bootstrap thing I want to look at, we already have tests for, but it doesn't look very nice, and that's these uh, alerts that we've put in place. That's kind of nasty, and if we go to the bootstrap thing, you can get these nice looking alerts like this if we just change our classes up a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and do that and, and get a nicer looking website out of it. So if we go to our uh, tests, we know uh, that uh, the, oops, there is a test in where we got our alert and right now we we made up some alert selector because we didn't know what it should look like because we didn't have our bootstrap installed. Now that we have bootstrap installed we know that we want to have a an alert class and then an alert dash and the name and now you can see why we picked some of the names we did success info warning danger because they match up very nicely to the bootstrap alert classes and that wasn't really an accident but uh, that means it's, it's going to be really easy to make the changes here all we're going to do is change this to an alert and an alert dash the alert class and what's going to happen here is uh, that we need to run our tests and they they should fail because now we don't have the proper alerts being generated anymore and so all our uh, alerts are going to, to fail all over the place but that uh, should be really quick to do um, in fact I'm gonna make the change to that off screen so that you have a chance to do it on yourself and then show you the, the result of making th those changes. And so you can see here our alerts are failing in many numerous places because we actually depended upon those alerts quite a bit. And now you can see after the failure I've run the passing tests and so they work. So let's go ahead and run our server here and show that the, the alerts look much nicer. So we've got our server running. We can go and ahead and reload our page here. There's, there's no alert to start up. So I'm going to log out and we get our nice informational alert here. We can try to edit a, a user that uh, doesn't exist and we should get our, our error alert, or not logged in alert, and uh, so forth. So our alerts look much better and are just adding to, to the nice displayed nature of um, what, what our website looks like. So finally here's a success one right here in the in the green so we're we're very happy let's try to delete the administrator and we, we've got all those different alerts so go ahead and, and add that to your website as well